Hi you guys and welcome back to All Good Things. Okay guys, so getting straight into it, today's video I have another true story to share with you all and this one will seriously restore your faith in humanity. And this one hits home to me because this story is actually located in Sydney, Australia and I remember growing up knowing about this particular location, it was quite notorious, everybody knew about it and as I grew older and I discovered this person and their story, it really touched my heart and it's always stuck with me. And and it always gave me this sense of hope and I hope by sharing his story that it can give you that same effect. So stick around, watch till the end. This is a beautiful story that needs to be heard. So let's go. <laughs> the Angel of the Gap Don Taylor Ritchie, born June 9, 1926. In Don's early life, he attended Vaucluse Public School in Sydney, Australia. He then went on and attended Scots College where he graduated. After graduating college, Don enlisted into the Royal Australian Navy on June 30, 1944 as a seaman. Don was actually on board the HMAS Hobart and witnessed the unconditional surrender of the Japanese Imperial Forces in Tokyo Bay on the 2nd of September 1945 officially ending World War II in the Pacific. After Don's time serving in the war, he then started a whole new career as a life insurance salesman. For nearly five decades, Don resided in his Sydney home right next to the Gap. His home overlooked the Pacific Ocean, Australia's most picturesque views. The Gap is an ocean cliff which faces the Tasman Sea in a suburb located in Watsons Bay, Sydney, Australia. The cliff is a popular and beautiful tourist destination. Although the cliff is a popular tourist destination, these sheer cliffs at the mouth of Sydney Harbour have long acted as a magnet to those who have lost all hope. If you're not from Australia or you haven't heard about the Gap, the Gap is basically a really well-known and notorious place for suicides in Australia. Don Ritchie always enjoyed his breathtaking views of the ocean from his porch, although the oceans were not the only thing he was looking for. Don would often see someone on the cliff in distress. He would then slowly walk across the road from his property and try and engage in conversation with them. He would approach the cliff's edge and simply smile and ask them, can I help you in any way? More often than not, the quiet approach always worked for Don. However, there were people that were so determined to take that leap that Don had to physically restrain them just to keep them safe. After some time, Don would then invite them back to his home for a cup of tea and a chat. And there they chatted for as long as it was needed and the person in distress saw hope again. My ambition has always been to just get them away from the edge, to buy them time, to give them opportunity to reflect and give them the chance to realize that things might look better the next morning. You can't just sit there and watch them. You've got to try and save them. Occasionally, some of the people that Don talked down from the cliff would return to his home years later just to say thank you. One survivor gave him a painting of an angel with the rays of the sun and the simple message of an angel who walks amongst us. Since 1964, over a nearly 50 year period, Don has rescued about 160 people from jumping off the cliff at the Gap. However, his family say that the number is more about 500 people. That is incredible. In 2006, he was awarded the Medal of the Order of Australia for his rescues for service to the community through programs to prevent suicide. In 2010, Don and his beautiful wife Moya were named Citizens of the Year by the Wallara Council. 
In 2011, he received the Local Hero Award for Australia. The National Australia Day Council saying, His kind words and invitations into his home in times of trouble have made an enormous difference. With such simple actions, Don has saved an extraordinary number of lives. After 50 years of helping people at The Gap, sadly Don Ritchie passed away at the age of 85 years old in 2012. Don Ritchie's daughter, Sue, says, My father enjoyed his ocean view, but was equally determined to watch out for troubled souls. He once said to me, an offer of help was all that was needed to turn people around. And he would say not to underestimate the power of a kind word and a smile. He was a great mixture of strength and compassion, an everyday person who did an extraordinary thing for many people that saved their lives without any want of recognition. Back in Sydney, Don worked in the insurance industry. He would later then tell his friends about the people that he had saved. I was a salesman for most of my life and I sold them life. A pocket of tranquility has been set aside in Watson's Bay in memory of the Angel of the Gap, Don Ritchie. The Don Ritchie Grove was opened in memory of the man who saved hundreds of lives simply by talking to troubled souls contemplating suicide meters from his home. As part of the self-harm minimization measures, the Gap Park now has cameras, emergency phones and new fences. For almost 50 years, the Gap Park was watched over by a real-life guardian angel in the form of Don Ritchie whose kindness and compassion helped save the lives of hundreds of Australians. His legacy lives on through those that went on to lead happy and full lives as a direct result of his intervention over the last five decades. Don Ritchie's heroic actions, they really do remind you that there really is hope and things can get better and people do care. Because sometimes in this life, in the world, things can happen to us, around us, that can make us feel like we lose faith in humanity. Like, where is the good in the world? And when you hear things like this, it kind of reminds you that, hey, no, there still are good people in the world. Good things still can happen. People do care. And I just really think the world of Don Ritchie, what a beautiful human being. If you are struggling with depression, I feel like Don would want you to know that there are people out there just like him, complete strangers that are willing to step up and help you get through your hard times. So speak up, reach out. You are not alone. You do not have to do this alone. No matter how dark things can feel, no matter how much things are closing in on you, there is always a way out. But okay, you guys, I think I'm going to wrap it up right here. Thank you so much for watching my video. Please let me know. What did you guys think of today's true story of Don Ritchie? Let me know in the comments down below. <laughs> and if you're new to my channel and you really dig this video and you want to watch more, then go ahead and click subscribe. And don't forget to hit the bell so that you're notified every time I make a new upload. <laughs> and okay, you guys, as I always say, remember, you are not alone. You are not alone in this world and there is always hope. There really is. There's always hope. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye guys. Fill me out with your smile.